questions I get asked most often is how do you visualize effectively? How do you attract success, opportunity, situations, love, happiness into your life using visualization? Well, there's some big, big myths around visualization. So let me just tell you the very simple process that I've discovered and use all the time works like a charm every time. And that is this, instead of trying to close your eyes and imagine something inside your head that you think looks like real life, as if you had your eyes open, because people think that's what visualizing vividly means. That if I, if I close my eyes, it'll be as near the same as with my eyes open. And it's never like that. It's never like that for anybody. <laughs> Believe me. Okay, so what to do is to, first of all, get clear about what your intention is. You need to plant that intention like a seed in the soil of the universe, as it were. And it will grow. Nature will take its course. Okay. So what do I mean when I say get clear about your intention? Because again, there's a lot of mistakes here. People think that if, let's say, you're trying to attract the perfect lover. And you think, well, that person would be five foot six inches tall and they would have mousy brown hair and blue eyes. And, and they may, the person that you end up falling in love with may not have those characteristics at all. And the universe doesn't need you to put in that kind of detail. Because... It knows what you want. It's intelligent. You're just, it's responding to you. Okay. So you just have to have the intention of, if it was to find the perfect lover, to find a perfect lover. And what that would feel like. Start with the emotion, the E-motion. I like to spell emotion E hyphen motion, little dash motion, because that means E for energy, energy in motion. That's how we know we're alive, when it feels good. And when it doesn't feel good, that's a guidance point to, that we're going off track somewhere and we need to readjust. So you start with the emotion of how it will feel to have the situation, the circumstance, the person, the opportunity, whatever it is you want in your life. That's what you do. Then you can close your eyes. Not if you're driving, obviously. Be sensible. <laughs> okay. But then you can close your eyes and just get in touch with the feeling and out of the feeling will arise images. Now they might be vague. They probably aren't going to look like real life at all. That's fine. As long as you're connected to the feeling and I'm pointing here, but you might feel it in your guts more or anywhere in your body for that matter. But as long as you're connected with the feeling, the images that come up may be wispy and dreamlike. You might not get images at all. You might just connect with that feeling. And if somebody actually then said to you later, what shape is that feeling? What color is that feeling? What's it made of? Where in your body do you experience it the most? You probably would surprise yourself. You'd have some ideas. Okay, so that's what you do. And it only needs to be 15, 20 seconds at a time. This is not something you need to be pounding the universe with. <laughs> okay. The universe is intelligent. You know, it knows how to create planets and galaxies and stars, and it certainly knows how to respond to your thought energy and your emotions. So I hope that's helpful.